Welcome to another unit in this SPSS course. In this unit, I'm going to talk about how we can use SPSS to run a robust regression, or rather a linear regression with robust standard errors. In this context, I first have to mention that in the standard implementation of SPSS, the robust standard error estimation is not automatically included. So you first need the so-called R essentials for SPSS. If you never heard about R essentials or just want to know how you install them, you can have a look at the corresponding video in this series where I explain in detail what this is and how you can install this in your SPSS. At this point, it just suffices. It's just like an add-on which allows you additional functionalities by building on R. So here, however, it's the advantage we have a specific function for robust standard errors or for what they call robust regression. We find this under regression and then everything with a plus is like an add-on from this. And here I find a point robust regression. If I click this, it's pretty easy and straightforward. So here I can select a dependent variable, for example, weight and then select some independent variables. If I run this regression, I will just get this small output, which basically only gives me my coefficient values, the corresponding standard errors, and the t-values. So I would have to do my t-test on my own here. However, I can directly see, well, the two variables will be highly significant, the intercept won't be. Okay, but then this is just an idea to get the corresponding standard errors here, which I might use in a different context, but I need to be careful in this context because he does not simply calculate new standard errors. This is something we can see if we compare this with the classical linear regression approach. So here I use the exact same model. Click on OK. And see the coefficients look similar. So it's 11.182 and 0 0.482. If I go up here, it's minus 11.050 and 0 0.483. So they are similar but not exactly the same. So he uses a slightly different approach. And well, as su suspected, the standard errors are also slightly different. Not this big of a difference we have here, but at least slightly different. This is due to the fact that in this example, we have not really this much of a problem with heteroscedasticity, so those standard errors are not really biased. Well, if you want to know whether you actually should use this approach, whether you have a significant problem with heteroscedasticity, then you could use the so-called broch pagan test, which is also implemented via the R essentials. But I will go into more detail on how to conduct the broch pagan test in a different unit. At this point, will suffice to just introduce here the idea, if you have a problem with, multi uh, with um, heteroscedasticity, how you can cope with this, by using here a robust regression approach, which, however, as you can see, in this version is really limited. And well, that's then all there is on how to conduct a robust regression in SPSS with the R essentials. So I hope you still enjoyed this, even though it's, well, not really this satisfying what we get as a result. And well, if you want to see more on this topic, feel free to visit the rest of this course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. And I say goodbye and see you next time.